over the last year. Asics have transformed their fortunes in terms of those top end super shoes. The Metaspeed Sky with that flight foam turbo material underfoot is matched only by the Vaporfly Next Percent to many runners. Lightness here and energy return but sadly the shoe does retail for 225 earth credits. I think that might deter a few people from picking this one up. As such, can I construct a three shoe running rotation for the price of one pair of Metaspeed Skies? Let's get the calculator out. Thanks for tuning in cats, it's always appreciated. Ed Turbo Bud here. I'm gonna to attempt to build a three shoe training and racing rotation, all for the cost of one pair of ASICS Metaspeed Skies. So that gives me about 225 earth credits to play with. It's not really that much. I think I might have given myself quite a tough job today, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's certainly a tighter budget from when I tried to do this video with the Vaporfly Next Percent or the Alphafly Next Percent. Let's see what I can muster. Calamine lotion. So to cover a few bases, we're gonna need a shoe that's got some of that Metaspeed Sky DNA that perhaps could be used for some racing or some faster training. I'm thinking some reps, some intervals, maybe some longer runs at higher speeds. What's available at discount right now? Hmm, a firmer ride for sure, but still within the ballpark would have to be the Magic Speed. We've got that famed flight foam blast material here in the Magic Speed. It's a little bit of a different underfoot experience to the stuff that we've got on the Metaspeed Sky, but certainly the same lineage. More bounce here, I suppose, in the Flight Foam Blast. And of course, you've got a partial plate from the mid to forefoot rather than a full length carbon plate. I'd suggest a slightly more durable model than the ASICS Metaspeed Sky. Quite a bit more rubber here, and it kind of comes back round to the heel, which is one area that I found the Metaspeed Sky to be a little bit fragile in. Denser foam, but a similar midsole drop here. I think it's about five millimeters, which is exactly the same as the Metaspeed Sky. Still a very light shoe, actually, in hand. There's a lot of similarities between these two. They certainly feel like brothers or perhaps slightly more distant cousins. Nothing quite feels like the flight foam turbo that we've got in the Metaspeed Sky. It's ASIC's top line foam and it only features in their top ratio. There'll be no issue here with the standard ASIC's high abrasion rubber and I think the fit in the upper is not all that dissimilar to the Metaspeed Sky. Sportshoes.com have got these at 87 earth credits on discount right now. An easy selection for that race or perhaps faster tempo shoe that we require in this type of rotation. It's got the nods that we need to that more expensive ASIC shoe. I find the Metaspeed Sky quite a niche shoe. It's only really one that I want to bring out when I'm going to do those faster efforts for perhaps some sort of 5k part run. Maybe if I'm racing 10k half marathon perhaps or for some sort of premium tempo run or higher paced effort. So with £87 out of the budget for the magic speed, that leaves us with £138 to try and pick up two more shoes. We need something for those easy or sort of daily efforts and a long run shoe too. I find it very difficult here not to recommend the Reebok Floatride Energy 3. The budget is quite tight here. I have seen certain pairs for sale on Start Fitness, for example, for quite a bit under £50. Though Reebok themselves have the Energy 3 Adventure up for just under 60 right now on their website. This has got a more trail light upper, but that tried and tested midsole and outsole setup. The float ride foam is forgiving and durable to boot and ideal for daily runs or multi-surface scenarios. So these are available in almost all sizes for just under 60 pounds, but I did find a code to reduce the price down even further, making it down to about 50 pounds, 57p. Brilliant deal and makes for a very versatile and usable daily shoe. So if I've done the maths right, that leaves us about 87 pounds to pick up our long run shoe. We need something more plush with a bit more cushion underfoot. That's gonna aid us on those Sunday saunters into oblivion. How about the Glide Ride 2 from Asics? It's as plush as you like and has got that similar rolling action that we'll experience in the Metaspeed Sky. You've got that feeling of rolling off the forefoot, quite a rigid sort of feel, and of course the ASICS high abrasion rubber as usual. Kind of like a more well-built Metaspeed Sky, I suppose. It's certainly more rigid underfoot. The foam's denser here. We've got flight foam propel rather than the turbo stuff. And you will feel quite a difference 
Though I think quite a few runners would actually prefer to have something a little denser perhaps for the long run. Yes, there's a great deal more weight here in the Glide Ride 2. This shoe though has never really been meant as a race model, so I think it's a good bet for a long run shoe. Those longer efforts are vital for runners who are training to do a half marathon or full marathon. I think the Glide Ride 2 could fit that bill. Start Fitness have got these at 89 Earth credits right now, so we're a little bit outside of our budget, only a couple of quid. Will you forgive me? Certainly a lot more plush though than the upper we find on the A6 Meta Speed Sky. So that could be a good option for the long run. Any other notable options though that will get us in on budget? Oh yes, says the man from Shoe Monte. Sportshoes.com have got the plush, Zoom X equipped, cushion sandwich that is the Vomero 16 from Nike. I think this is Nike's best non-race shoe right now. At 81 pounds in almost all women's sizes, you can reap the benefits of that plush padded upper and that very forgiving underfoot feel. When we're talking long run efforts, that's exactly what you want. Something that's going to provide you with a nice comfortable blanket around the foot and some reasonable cushion underfoot to absorb the miles. Bit of an underrated shoe this one and I'm quite surprised to see there's so many discounts on it. I think people have overlooked this one a little bit. There isn't the pizzazz and the excitement about it, it's just a really really good shoe. It does what it says on the tin with minimal sort of razzmatazz. This one even leaves us with a couple of pounds to spare below the budget. You could buy yourself an energy gel or a couple of Cadbury's cream eggs. Quite amazing that we can grab three shoes for the price of one pair of A6 Metaspeed Sky. This makes for a really useful rotation which covers pretty much every eventuality. Such versatility hasn't been seen since 1988 in the Netherlands football squad. If you think you've got a better three shoe rotation for the same number of earth credits, let me know down in the comments. I quite enjoy doing these. It's really quite hard to try and pick out some shoes that will work and cover the bases. It is amazing what you can get though for the cash. Musical interlude time. So we're going back to 2012 today. I can't believe it's 10 years old this album. Mac DeMarco's 2 kicks off with a fantastic cooking up something good, which does sound like it's been recorded on some type of reel-to-reel -reel tape machine that doesn't work properly. The speed sort of seems to vary slightly over the course of the track. It gives it its own very unique character. I really like it. Always great grooves on Mac DeMarco songs. Some wonderful drumming there. Almost like sort of hip-hop drumming, I suppose. There's always super fat bass as well on Mac DeMarco tracks of this period. You just seem to have a knack for being able to record these really quite straight sounding tunes and just adding very simple effects to make them sound really interesting. His songwriting's fantastic as well. Always interesting. The delivery is almost like a rat pack singer who's also a hippie and probably smoked too much. I mean, on the track Ode to Viceroy, which I think is his favourite brand of cigarettes or something, you can practically feel the <laughs> smoke around you. Robson Girl is one of my favourite tunes. That one is really, really fat. The drums, the bass, everything just works so well. If you crank it up on your stereo, it sounds wonderful. And the whole album is sort of bookended by this wonderful track called Still Together. It's a love song, really quite a different sort of tune to end the album and it's really quite different to all the other tracks absolutely one of his best albums number two by mac demarco thanks for tuning in cats it's always appreciated don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when we roll out those new videos for you give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies my name's ed bud and i'll be seeing you